In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a store on your Squarespace website and then how to add and style a physical product. So let's just dive right in. You can see I'm already logged into my website. I'm going to click website up here in the top left of this sidebar here to come into my pages. And what I'm going to do is scroll down to the not link section because I'm just making this store as an example. But this might also be a great way for you to get started on your store um, and set it up before you're ready for people to see it. Set it up here under the not linked linked. And then when you're ready, you can click and drag and add it up here to your main navigation. So what I'm going to do is click the plus button here and then select store. And then I'm going to click create a new store. And you can see you're given two layout options. Don't stress over these too much. You can always add and delete things at the top of your products. Um, so if you pick this first one and decide you don't want those things up there, you can delete them. And same with the second option, you can always add sections in around your products if you'd like. So let's go with this first one here. Uh, you can see it's naming it store one. We're just going to roll with that. And now here we are with the mock-up store page and three mock-up products. Um, let's style and edit this first little bit up here first, and then we'll go into the product. So I'm going to click edit on the store page. And I'm going to replace this text and add in the page title with heading one because that is good SEO practice. I'm going to delete this button because I don't want anybody to click off and go anywhere outside of my store once they've come to my store, right? So we've got our title here to edit that background image. You can do that here. You can replace it, delete it, whatever you want. They do the same thing. Um, and you can change your background there. If you want to change the text here, you can do that. You can change the layout. Or like I said, you can just remove it. And there it is gone. So I'm going to click Save. We've got our banner set up. We've got the extra text deleted. And now you can see here we are with our three mock-up products. I always just delete these. They're not helpful for me. For me, they're just in the way. Maybe you would want to dive into them and see how they're set up, but I think they're just in the way. We will not be selling these things, so I just select them all and delete. Okay, so now we have our blank store page styled with the header the way we'd like it. You can either click create product here or this plus sign up here. And like I said, we're going to be doing a physical product in this example. So physical, we're going to select that. I have mocked up a pretend designing the row t-shirt for this example. So give it your product name description here. You're going to want to use more text than I am, but this is <laughs> it's just for setup example purposes. So your name and your description of your product here. Additional info you can click in here if you would want. This will go under Neath the product. So you're going to have like a picture, the price, the short description, and then like a buy button. If you want even more info, you can add this here and it will go underneath all of that. Images. Let's see if I can just drag and drop in my few mock ups here. Okay, there we go. Those are uploading. It suggests that you add um, three photos. I don't have a front and a back and a detail. I just have a couple different mock-ups here. And then let's scroll down. We'll add in a price. Let's say it's going to be a $20 t-shirt. Obviously, you can see here if you'd like to mark it on sale, you can toggle that on and set up a sale price. Stock. If you would like your website to help you track stock. Limited stock. We do not have unlimited stock. Let's say we have... We'll say we have 15, but we're going to go into more details with each size in just a minute. The SKU, if you would like to change your SKU, you can do that. Um, and that this shows up on the, the email that people get when they buy your products. And it also might just help you sort and manage your products when you are fulfilling orders. Okay, so since this is a t-shirt, we're gonna have different sizes, right? So I'm gonna click under variants, add. I'm going to do the drop down and click size small, medium, large. And when I'm putting the comma between these, it's making those little bubbles for me. Okay, I'm going to click save. So now you can see when I click in to, 
to small, it opens up all my options. The skew is all messed up because I added variations. So we're just going to do this. You might think this is a little tedious, and it is, but that's what I like to do. <laughs> so then if you have maybe 10 smalls and 10 extra larges, but 15 mediums and larges, your website will track these for you. And it will let you know when you're running low on stock. And it will also let you know when you're out of stock and it will not allow people to purchase things once they're gone. So that's very helpful here. You can change your prices. If you want the variants to be different prices, you can do that dimensions. If you would like a lot of times I've taught in other videos, um, how to do shipping rates and I will do the weight here. Um, so I'll just give it a, a make-believe weight of 1.5 here for each shirt. You do not have to do this, but I want to give you an example of how to set up all of these fields. So now I'm going to go back and you can see we've got all of our inventory here saved. If you want to set up a different image for each of these sizes, you can. This is more helpful for like if you do something with different colors, though. Um, okay. Profiles. This is if you want to, you can see here, do different shipping options. Um, I'm going to click paid shipping. I already have shipping set up from other example videos that you can find on my channel. So I'll click paid shipping here. Advanced shipping. I've got my my weights in here so I can I can manage my shipping on the back end again a whole nother video that's on my channel for you this is mostly about setting up the actual product itself categories let's add a category and we will say shirt maybe there we go click add tags if you would like to do tags um, for this example I'd probably do like shirt designing the row white t-shirt whatever you would want to do here Okay, product add-ons, upsell. This is more advanced features. I'm going to leave these alone for now. Custom button, custom forms, and subscription. You don't really need these for t-shirts, but if you would, if you want to do like a pre-sale of an of an um, of a product, you can change the add to cart button to say like pre-sale or pre-order now. Um, you can do that here. I'm just going to discard that custom forms. If you're customizing a product for somebody, so say you're going to put their name on this t-shirt, you need to know what name they want on the t-shirt. You can set up a form to ask them that here and subscription. If you were selling something that they need to be billed for, um, on a recurring basis, you can set that up here. We just have a simple t-shirt. We've got all our details in. I'm going to hit publish. And now you can see the shirt here has been added to my store. Um, it says shirt right here because I added a category. So as I add categories, those will be shown here across the top of this page. Okay, let's go and just click into the product. I think this actually looks pretty nice, but for the sake of this video, let's do um, edit design, edit section, and just keep in mind here, what you choose for this product will be the same for all the products in your store. These are not individual settings for each product. This is the product settings for all the products on your store. So you can choose your layout here for right now. I'm liking this one. It's got the thumbnails over on the side. You can see everything very clearly. You have all sorts of options here. You can change the picture size. And remember, this will be for every product on your site. So keep that in mind. I like to left there. So you can go through these and customize. How this page looks here. Let's do one more change to make it something different. There we go and save. Of course, we get all the way to the end of this video recording tutorial and it's giving me 
some issues. You can see it's still saving here. I've shown you everything that I've wanted to though. We've set up our store, created our source, set up our store homepage. We've created a product and we've styled the actual product page. Um, all you should have to do from here is hit save and then exit and you will have your new store with your new product styled exactly the way you want it. And that is all for this video. If you have any questions about your store, I do have a lot of other videos on my channel about setting up your store, setting up your shipping, all sorts of videos. So go browse there or ask me a question in the comments and I'm going to get this unstuck and I will see you in the next video.